Hello, it's uh, been a while since I've done a video of any kind, um, but I um, just thought I'd uh, post a video about this TV I've actually repaired for a customer. Um, it's not often I do repairs for um, other people, but uh, the owner of this literally begged me to fix it, and just just said he'd pay, and you know I I don't know I don't know what I'm going to charge him, but it'll be something. Um, and uh, yeah, he just said, "Look, do it in your own time." And um, I literally have it. I've, I've had the set. I've had the set here about probably about close to seven months now, and um, just been working away when time allows. Um, I'm now working six days a week. Uh, so um, yeah, pretty much only get, only get really probably a couple of Sundays off now every month because the other Sundays I'm tied up with other things, which. Uh, doesn't really leave him with a lot, a lot of time to do much else, um, you know, but um, yeah, so anyhow, uh, this is a Philips S8 a chassis, um, I did, I, I, I did cover one of these in quite in depth in one of my, one of my um, earlier videos, if you just go back to my, my back catalog, you'll see it, I actually own several var variations of these things, um, typical series wired set, uh, using P-series and E-series valves, um, um, based on a Dutch European design, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, so, you know, they're quite, quite, a, quite a nice lay, nicely laid out service manual. Um, again, again, I actually, I actually did cover um, one of these in a previous video where I had various faults with it, had Blimmin shorted line output transformer and other bits and pieces and resistors crapping out in the tuner and all sorts of other weird wonderful faults and uh, yeah this one had quite a few too actually it um, wasn't going that particularly well when I got it well in fact in fact it actually wasn't going at all uh, had no EHT no nothing and um, I could see the PY88 glowing red hot which indicated a short and I'm thinking oh here we go flyback's gone lopped is shorted or we've got something else wrong and um remote control unit and uh yeah so i popped the um pop the eht cover off and um and looked in here and oh here we go the boost capacitor oh that looks that looks really uh really great and measured it and it was basically a piece of wire so <laughs> pretty much <laughs> pretty much explain what was wrong with this thing anyway um but um yeah so but went through and changed other various components. You know, all these these caps are all stuffed, but they're all leaking. I mean, look at that one there. It's you know, spewing its guts out. Um, and uh, yeah, I so went went through and changed various valves. Um, uh, had quite a grainy, had a really really grainy picture. And um, you know, I replaced the piece of eighty six and brought that back. Um, the PY eighty eight, which 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 copped the short. I, I actually fitted and I actually fitted a um a new old stock one on there because. This is going basically um, down to the South Island, so it's pretty much a whole, you know, it, it's going going quite a number of of kilometres away from, away from my location. So I've basically fixed it up to be as reliable as I possibly can without going overboard. Um, so what else did I do to it? Um, yeah, just uh, work my way through it. I'll just um, move the light over here. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, and the audio, the audio, audio, audio valve was crock in the frame output valve. PCL eighty, PCL eighty five um, was also crock as well. But yeah, it had it had it had various issues with with it actually. And um, yeah, that that's a that's a used um, a, a new a used um, a Nichicon hundred volt three hundred hundred US three hundred fifteen volt cap. Um, I kind of pulled this. Horrible, um, shitty thing out of there. I don't trust these Ducon caps. I wouldn't trust it as far as I could kick it. Actually, so I got rid of that. And um, it's got the two the two main power supply filter caps are in there. They're they're actually still all, still all right. Would you believe it? So, but, um, yeah, just another another typical Philips black and white TV. Um, as I said, I've got several variations of these things. So when I do another one, you'll probably see another set that looks different, but inside it is essentially the same um so engine oh come on you bloody swine so yeah just your yeah, typical run-of-the-mill black and white valve television um 
I must admit, I don't really like working on these. The, the print side's a bit of a pain to get it. And of course, you, you know, you're, you're constantly fighting with the, with the, with the sort of the, um, sort of the wiring harness acting as like a sort of a springed hinge. So you kind of got to hold, hold it, hold it with one hand and work it with the other. Um, yeah, it looks like Wopty has been changed at some stage. Yeah, there's one of those, one of those really funky speakers with the, uh, with the magnet on the inside. So the magnetism doesn't upset the picture geometry. And down in here you've got all your, all your controls and everything. And there's the mains uh, filter, uh, uh, the, um, the, the AC mains um, filter uh, cap, the main suppression fil filter cap down there. I've just, just cleaned all those controls. The switches were dirty, but uh, and the volume was a bit scratchy. But um, that's going a little better now than, now than what it was. Um, but yeah, the actual tube is a bit tight on this. It does take a wee while for the picture to come up. It comes up quite smeary and quite dull, but you sort of give it three or four minutes and the picture comes up quite reasonable. It's not as sharp or as, or as clear as, as the other set that I've got. Um, I've got one that's, that's slightly, there's a slightly earlier model of this and the picture, the picture of that thing gives us, it's absolutely, it would just leave any other black and white for dead. It's a, such a, such a nice picture on it. Um, this one's also a slightly later model too. It's got the bond, it's got the bonded, um, bonded, uh, bo bonded safety glass on the actual picture tube itself. I'm just going to turn this thing around. Um, so yeah, this one is definitely slightly, uh, slightly different to, um, to some of the, uh, I haven't, I haven't actually, this one, I haven't actually got this model in my collection. I've got variations of it. I've got a set that looks just like this, but it's got the later F2 chassis with the with the single circuit board, but it looks virtually the same as this. Um, so um, yeah, no, quite a nice TV actually. Quite a it's actually in quite nice condition too. It's not too badly knocked around. There's a few little scratches on the top, but you know, overall condition's actually pretty good really. Um, so yeah, um, I might as well turn it on and you can see it going. Give it a bit of a run. Um, yeah, so hopefully all going well. This is going to go back next Friday. It's going to be picked up by the owner's sister who's going to take it back down to the bottom of the South Island of New Zealand and that's where it's going to you know, go back into the owner's uh, owner's uh, display room in his place of business where I think he was running an old, I think he said he had it set up running a um, an Atari 2600, basically. It was basically more of a sort of a, um, a conversation piece, a bit, a, bit of, a bit of a retro corner of, of his office and his, his place of work, I think, something like that. Um, so, yeah. So, it's probably the first and last TV I'll probably fix for a customer. I mean, it's just taking me so long, you know. You know I've, got, I've got other sets I, you know, other sets I could be potentially fixing for myself, but, um, again, it's the thing called time these days. Time is very precious. But I've got a bit of Monty Python here. I don't think this will get flagged YouTube-wise because it's uh, it's pretty much there's no sort of musical content in there, in there at all. But um, Next but the sound on these things is great. Uh, one but it, it's even though it's slightly smeary, it's still got there is only meter. it's got really good con still got still got good good brightness and contrast. It's just um. <laughs> It's just, uh, it's just a wee bit sort of smeary, basically. It's not, it's not as sharp or as, or as focused as some of them. So, but um, yeah, so that's pretty much it running. Yeah, the picture on it, the picture on it initially was all snowy, washed out. It was all just the um, vertical, or vertical was all up the crap and everything. So no, it's actually come up pretty well, I, I reckon. Anyway, I'm leading this expedition, and we're going to climb both peaks of Mount Kilimanjaro. I thought there was only one peak, sir. Oh, the controls down here. Tone and mute. The mute button. The speech as well. The speech just the speech just cuts the bass out. So. Last year's expedition. Yes, my brother was leading that. They were going to build a bridge between the two peaks. <laughs> My dear, I'm afraid. Now, I ought, to, uh, I ought to tell you that I have uh, practically everyone that I need for this expedition, so what uh, special qualifications do you have? Uh, well, sir. Yes, you first. 
Oh, well, I'll um, end things here. Like I said, it was only a short video just to give you a bit of an update of what I've been up to over the past few months. And um, yeah, stay tuned for potentially more in the future. All right, take care for now, everyone. Bye.